Pathpilot Quick Tips. Today we'll do a series of short one minute videos on probing with a ZA6 robot. I'll show you how to set up the probe, how to write a program that does a simple individual axis probe, uh, then how to count the number of times that the machine has probed or done anything really. From there we'll move on to saving the probed values to a CSV file. And then finally, I'll show you how to get the robot to send you a text message when it's done that, say, a thousand times. You'll want to go ahead and install this probe mount on the unit. And with a 10 millimeter collet, it comes with the holder. Let's go ahead and tighten that probe up. This probe is Tormox Passive Probe, uh, meaning it's normally closed. So if we come over here to the settings screen, you'll see I want to set this to Passive, Passive Probe, and then over on Status, we can see that the input is closed and the probe signal itself is dark, but when we trigger the probe, we can see that probe signal uh, is getting back to the control. Let's, uh, let's go about writing that simple probe program. So we'll go to the conversational tab and we'll create a new program, empty program. First thing I'm gonna do is just move to the zero position. So I'll add a joint move to the zero position to our program. And then I'm going to want to jog the machine until it's just above the table. We'll just be probing the table here. So, top. And then we'll jog it down in 100 millimeter increments. And maybe then another, another little bit further until we're I don't know, a reasonable amount above there. And I don't know, let's go ahead and say that we're gonna start probing from there. And we'll create a waypoint here and we'll call this probe position. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. And I'll add a move to there and save. Probe demo. All right, let's just try it, make sure that we've got the right thing here. Okay, so this is the program itself, and we're gonna add a probe move, but we have to tell it where it's gonna move to. So what I'm gonna do is I'll create a new pose. I'm gonna say pose equals get pose. That grabs the current position. And then I'm gonna modify this by pose.z minus equals 100. That's 100 millimeters, so I'm changing the z point for that probe to be 100 millimeters lower. And then I'll toss in val or value, that would be the, the probe value, equals probe L, which is the probe command for a linear probe move, the target position, pose, right? And then we can go ahead and throw in a, a velocity in here. I don't want it going as fast as the robot can possibly go, so I'll say uh, 0.2, so 2% of its maximum velocity. And uh, we'll save this and reload from the disk, and we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Great, so now it's probing. In the next video, we'll cover doing something with that return value.